Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, bigotry and occultism, okay? Because I don't think people realise that other cultists get a lot of bigotry from uh, from sources a lot of the time. You know, we get people think we're crazy or what I guess. That's my job. My job is to write about occultism. I'm an author of occult works. I write books on real magic. Now, every so many years, I get problems from the police. I don't have to get arrested or anything like that, I must admit. What I get is, is I'll get followed round. The moment what I'm getting to, I'm just getting surveillance, okay? So, like, for instance, as I am at the moment, what I'm getting is I'm getting uh, surveillance, you know, uh, in police cars. So, uh, cars, I should say. They don't look like police cars. But what they do is they have radios. And, you know, these idiots, every time you go past the talk and then the, the noise comes out, you know, like, like a sound, uh, like a voice, you know. But really loud like it, it's a bit like a, like the radio they use in the taxi but much 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 louder and what makes you wonder is why these idiots actually you know uh use them when you come past because they must know you can hear it obviously they don't because they're idiots but what does it they think everyone's deaf you know so i'd like to point out this is a video okay this isn't real None of this is real. Because we all know the police don't do that. They don't discriminate against people. They don't. They've never discriminated against black people, gay people, you know, strange people. And they certainly don't discriminate against occultists because we just know occultists don't actually get executed anymore like in the Middle East and everywhere else, you know. They're not one of the most, you know, discriminate against group in society, so don't take any of this seriously, you know. This doesn't happen. It doesn't. And I'm not just saying that to cover myself because by saying that, I'd like to point out I'm saying that all this isn't true. So it's a bit difficult to press charges against anything. Okay. But so what you've got is at the moment you had uh, a car opposite Weatherspoons is what you had, you know, within the confines of I'm saying this isn't true. You know, obviously, really what I'm really saying is you definitely didn't have a car opposite Weatherspoons. And it definitely wasn't white and it definitely wasn't, didn't have. Uh, someone talking on the radio when it came past you know it definitely wasn't someone i believe to be a policeman and there definitely wasn't there because i tend to go that way and yesterday there definitely wasn't a car with another one in that went past me as i went home so i'm definitely not under surveillance nothing to worry about there then you know yeah i mean you know it, yeah, this sort of thing happens every so many years but i like to point it out to people because when it happens other people are not sure what to do they can't do anything so the trouble is some people who this happens to maybe people who have a bad background they have a background in crime or something like this and it doesn't matter if they went straight there's nothing they can do about this where me i don't i'm not a criminal i'm an author you see authors authors have less chance of going to jail than the police that's the reality Anyway, my name's S. Rob, and I'd just like to, uh, to help you all out and pass on this information, okay? Thanks a lot.